We are back here on Girl Talk. I am here at Volkswagen, which I absolutely love. Jim Thompson has joined us. We're talking about all kinds of new things. 2019 is not so far away. No, no. And right Volkswagen's got some pretty groovy things coming out. We do. Uh, well, I'm coming out, we've got the new Arteon, which okay. is uh, going to be a kind of compete in that sports sedan market. All so right. right around the, uh, the mid 30s in, in that mm -hmm. area in there. And then, but 18 was a huge year for yeah. us as well. Tell yeah. me what's going on. Well, first thing, probably the most important thing is the six year 72,000 mile warranty. Whoa. Every Volkswagen made from 2018 on has the six year 72,000 mile bumper bumper warranty. Okay. Not just powertrain. So, if your radio knob falls off, I mean, right. we don't have a problem with radio knobs, but I under it, it, yeah. <laughs> hypothetically. But hypothetically, <laughs> if, if, if it falls off, okay. five and a half years from now, bring it in, no charge, wow. it gets repaired. So it's not just your engine, it's the entire car, six years, 72,000 miles. So that's huge, there's that's nobody else. That's a big else. deal. Yeah, well it is because people finance their cars now. Mm -hmm. You know, yes. it used to be back when they came out with three year 36, they mm -hmm. had, uh, you know, people only finance their cars for three mm -hmm. years. And then it went from three years to, to four years to the 48 mm -hmm. month loan, then 60 month loan. And now more people finance for 72 months than well, ever. that's because our cars last longer, <laughs> well, right? They last longer and they're more expensive. Well, so, that's probably true too. Yeah, so, um, and that's just, not, that's the entire car industry. So, let's say you're five years in mm -hmm. and your car breaks. Now you've got a car payment and a repair bill. So, Volkswagen went with the, the 72, six year, 72 months. Now, pretty much if you finance for 72 months, you're completely covered. You don't have to worry about uh, I think paying Volkswagen, out of pocket. Yeah. I think Volkswagen too is one of those um, brands that I grew up with. That was my very first car. Yeah. I think we all had our little bug, you know, that yeah. um, it's, it's funny because my daughter actually had a 1974 bug that she drove across mm -hmm. uh, to California and back. Uh -huh. yeah. And it, yeah, it's now kind of a, uh, an icon in my garage. You know? oh, it's, it's, still there. It's, it's still there. Yeah, it's, it's still uh, there. Yeah. But you've got some new things coming out too, a redesign. Well, the uh, the Tiguan. Yes. I which, walked around and saw that it looks yeah. different. Yeah, well, I don't know if you've noticed, but all of the compact SUVs are just getting like a little bit bigger. Uh -huh. So like the you know the RAV4 from Toyota or the CRV and, and now the Tiguan is, you know, doing that as well. So okay. it's it's where it used to be a small compact SUV, now it has a third row. Mm -hmm. um, it has all of the technology that you could want, you know, because technology now is huge. Yeah. Uh, matter of fact, Volkswagen has absolutely been on the cutting edge of the, of the, the technology. technology. Yeah. For JD, example, JD Power. Uh, okay. You've heard of the JD Power Awards. Uh, yes. JD Power awarded the Tiguan the the best technology based SUV as far as. SUVs and technology. The Give me an example for people who may not know what technology and Volkswagen or even an well, automobile would look like. Well, so you've you've probably seen the commercials where the guys walking across the street and the car stops. Yes. Yes. So, yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that would be the autonomous braking. The 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 guy not getting run over. That's one thing. But the more important thing, well, obviously to him, it yeah. was not getting run over. <laughs> but. but uh -huh. The, you know, so uh, you glance down for just a second, just a momentary lapse, you look up and you're about to have a wreck. The car will actually flash and make an audible sound telling you you're coming too close. Okay. Then it will start pumping the brakes, trying Got to get it. you in tension, and then if all else fails, the car will just stop. Um, so these are, I look at that as just huge in safety issues. Oh, it is, it is. That's why, uh, like the Tiguan was the uh, National Highway Institute uh, top choice. Uh, as far as safety wow. because it'll stop itself mm -hmm. in a lot of cases so mm -hmm. you don't even have to worry about that but uh, uh, and the uh, the National Highway and the Insurance Institute both gave them top picks so oh, really? the Tiguan is just an incredibly incredibly Who's safe. Who's the demographic for that? Who is a typical family or person that would have the Tiguan? Oh I mean uh, or we, we, is there one? But, no not really because we're seeing empty nesters. Okay. Uh, we're seeing uh, New families that are maybe right. they're moving from a, a compact car, you know, from maybe uh, from a Jetta to a Tiguan, you know, okay. that kind of thing, or from in a lot of cases our competition mm -hmm. into a Tiguan. So, um, you know, I don't know. It's a pretty car. Oh yeah, yeah, and it's been a huge success. Mm -hmm. um, so the other new car that they introduced is the Atlas. I had never seen that. Yeah. Or at least I didn't think I had ever seen it. It's a pretty one too. Oh yeah, and. Uh, 
Uh, and it, it, once again, it's pretty much all Volkswagen. It's National Highway Institute top choice. Uh, it's a, you know, the uh, Institute of Safety okay. uh, top choice. It, uh, it's garnered many, many awards as well. How do you describe the Atlas again? Who would be someone who'd be? Well, it's a third. It's a true traditional third row SUV. Okay. So somebody that was looking at a Honda Pilot, that was looking at a Toyota Got Highlander, it. that Got was it. looking at a Ford Explorer, they would be more prone to they, look at they that would be too. A, in, in that group, um, uh, there's just but there's so many advantages to it. it, it, it the price point with the. Uh, like mm -hmm. plane assist. Yes. Where, uh, it will literally, like, it doesn't just buzz you and nowadays. Now it literally moves, moves you back you. into the center. That would be yeah. good. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, absolutely. And if you turn on your turn signal, if you have lane assist and you turn on your turn signal right. and you try to turn to turn and there's somebody in your blind spot, it will move, move you your, back. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. So it's these cars are just getting. I mean, they're like this close to, you know, being autonomous driving. Well, I mean, they're not there yet. But well, it really is. And looking at them, one of the things that I noticed is that they're very user friendly too. They're intuitive. Yeah. You know, I was always worried would technology be yeah. too much, but no. No, no, because most of these safety features, you don't, they're passive. You're not, you're not actually having to set them or, right. or do anything special. I like you know, that. Special when it does it for me, I don't have to think about it. This <laughs> exactly. is a good thing. Exactly. This is a good thing. You're exactly. great to talk to. You actually know your yeah. product. Um, yeah, well, I hope And so. you um, said you hadn't talked before, but I'll tell you what, next time I come in, I'm going <laughs> to grab you to talk again because it's fabulous. And this I'm last but last night? Yeah, last thing. Oh, the, now uh, it's not done. All right, yeah, real quick. All right, the Jetta. Okay. Uh, 20, roughly $25,000, and you get every single safety feature that there's out there. Panoramic sunroof, uh, Apple CarPlay, six year, 72,000 mile warranty. My boss said I had to say it like 10 times. So. And pretty color. Well, yeah. You yeah, were great. So. Thank okay. you. You're more than welcome. Thank you. Thank you all for joining us here in Girl Talk. Please have a wonderful week.